Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullah. After intimacy with your wife, should you change the bed sheet or not? Stay tuned. After having intimate relations with my wife, do we have to change our bed sheets hmm. each time and wash them? We do not use condoms, so fluid will get on the sheets, either semen or pre-seminal fluid. This issue is an issue of dispute since long time. First of all, many is semen or sperm. So is many or, or semen, is it pure or najis? Mm. What comes out of a person mm -hmm. is either urine, and this is najis, or um, medhi, which is uh, the prosthetic fluid, All right. and this is also najis. Usually it comes when there is intimacy or flirting with uh, the spouse. And there is wadi, and this is yellowish, a little bit uh, thin, that comes usually after urinating, or there when it's... carrying something that is heavy, or when it is extremely cold. And in all of these three are nudges. And then we have semen. And this is for men and women. However, women have something extra, which is the continuous vaginal discharge, which is an issue of dispute in the most authentic opinion, is that it is not nudges and it does not nullify wudu. Okay. It is more or less like sweat. So when we come to the issue of semen, many. We have a hadith, which is authentic, that Mother Aisha uh, uh, narrated. May Allah be pleased with her. She said that whenever there are traces of semen on the garment of the Prophet والسلام, if it is dry, I would drop it off with my fingernail. Right. Which means that if it's hard substance, Rubbing it, in, rubbing it off does the job. Okay. And if it's wet, I would wash it. Okay. Now scholars from this hadith, they learned that semen is pure because whenever there is an impurity, rubbing it off does not make the surface or the garment or the cloth pure. Okay. You have to wash it. But when she told us that rubbing it off does the job, this meant that semen is pure. Now, okay. how did this semen reach that area, that garment? Was it mixed with pre-seminal fluid, Madhi? Was it mixed with his spouse discharge? This is something we do not have knowledge of, but we have the basic knowledge that is whenever there are such discharges yes. on your bed sheet mixed with semen, then this is pure because okay. we don't have details of what Mother Aisha did, may Allah be pleased with her, and the content of what she rubbed off. And hence we assume that it is sufficient to be removed <laughs> and if not removed, it is still pure regardless of what was mixed with it. So whether you have it on your bed sheet, whether you have it on your clothes, it is pure. Is it disgusting or not? Definitely. But it doesn't affect the validity of your salat, if you right. have it. Would it be recommended to wash it? Yes, sure. Yes. But again, it is not a determining factor whether your salat is accepted or not amazing amazing we thank allah these issues or this kind of this one particular issue is clarified because many people ask this question that should we change the bed sheet after intimacy because sometimes people are afraid to sit on the bed in which he and his wife has slept last night they are afraid to sit on the bed because afraid that maybe the garment in which he is wearing currently will become impure because yesterday night there was a semen on the bed sheet but we thank Allah it is clarified